What's this? Your report card. You got a D, Maps. Mom, I, I can explain. Wow. Okay. You dishonor us, Kevin. You're disgraced to our family. Mom, I'm sorry I'm not smart like you are. Shut up, I speak to you. You got a D in your mouth. You're lucky I didn't put my D in your mouth because I'm chest gender. There's a lot that tomorrow's teachings tends to bring to the table, you know what I mean? But like, a, a coherent story? Not it. Won't find any of that here. Pull out with the strap. Pull out with my guys. Then I'll make you take a nap with my big black cap. I'm gonna kill you, nigga. <laughs> Hello, fellow students. Welcome one, welcome all. Hope you guys are ready to learn today. I know I am. I've got my pen, my paper, and I'm fully prepared for tomorrow's teaching. Today's lesson is the qualms of an Asian kid failing his math class. Uh, you won't believe it. The video just started, and I already can't believe it. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but he isn't cooking shit. The reality is... There's nothing wrong with Kevin. He's just a slow learner when it comes to math. So, there's two options. Option one, I tutor him. I can come over to your house every day after school for about half an hour and go over everything we learned in class that day. I guarantee you his grades are gonna go up. Option two, he goes to a special needs school. But I assure you, Kevin does not need that. So what you are saying is my science retarded. Yes. I can't say I've seen one Tomorrow's Teaching where the Asian woman isn't just the most unhinged character in the entire story. They also do a lot of pimp slapping on this channel for some reason. Only the Asian woman, though. I'm starting to think that lady in specific requests slapping in all her scripts. The only way for him to get better is to be tutored by a white man. What does a white man know about math? Okay. Uh, okay. Um... You took too long to answer, point proven. I mean, she's not entirely wrong. These are the 2024 winners for the uh, International Mathematical Olympiad, aka the Super Duper Nerd Olympics. And you know what I mean? I think I saw two white guys out of the like eight people on the team, but uh, let's be real, they probably got carried. Why are these bother schools? Oh, there's uh, uh, St. Gales, the 30 minute drive north. And well, I mean, there's two other ones, but like a three to four hour drive east. No, that's not far enough. My boy need to be this spring. My boy need A+. Plus. Get off my house, you cracker. I will deal with my son myself. Now, in what universe would this be respectful at all to say to somebody's teacher? You know, the lack of discipline is really telling for the family. It's the calls coming from inside the house. And I feel like a strong and sincere apology would be in order at the moment because some things are just too far. You know what I mean? Some things just shouldn't be said. And she's being really racist. Ching chong, ching chong, ching chong, bitch. Hello? Yo, it's Drake. D Drake? <laughs> I, I heard your beats, man. They fired on God. Let's get in the studio and work, bro. Yeah. <laughs> how do I how do I get to you? Yeah, man, all you gotta do is send a picture of your mom's feet without socks on, and I could fly you out to LA tonight. You know, in all seriousness, AI is terrifying. It took me no more than like five minutes to make that really quickly, and honestly, it sounds just like him. You really never know who could be talking to you behind a screen and thinking it's somebody completely different. Like, honestly, I could be AI right now. I could be a completely different person, and you guys wouldn't know the difference. Well, that might not be entirely true. My schedule is still the same, you know, still shit. It might be the only thing to tell you that it's still me on this channel. If I start uploading extremely consistently, assume I'm dead somewhere. Dude, don't trip him. I'll fly you out to LA. I got you, my boy. Can you leave tonight? It's the only way that it will work. Y yes, yes, I can. I can do that. I can fly out. Um, y yes, let's do this. You're not going to regret this. <laughs> cool, Liam, I'll buy your flight right now. Do you have a younger sister by any chance? Age 12 to 17. That's my time. Well, that actually might be Drake over the phone. You're not good at math! I'm sorry, son, but this is what you deserve. You are a dishonor to our family. No boy of my welfare in math class. You know, since these videos don't give you like a millisecond to breathe, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this out. I feel like watching this from your window and you just see these people going through whatever acting scene they're going through is still the most concerning thing on the planet. Like I could imagine some little kid just going to play outside 
and this Asian woman's packing their kid up like a fucking luggage, ready to send them out to God knows where. And since, like I said, we do not get a millisecond to breathe with these videos, prepare yourself for tomorrow's teaching's most crucial information, their most important learning experience, something that they uh, decided to put in this video for about 30 seconds. Get out of my way! I'm going to the post office! I'm hungry. Shoot, I already passed the exit. Good luck, everyone. Mm. My leg! I'm hungry. Good luck, everyone. I have to eat. Good luck, everybody else! <laughs> I have to ask, what is the lesson behind like half of the clips they put in these videos? I, I don't understand it. Like we're trying to show people that not every Asian kid has to be good at math, right? But don't forget, hey, Asians can't drive. Lesson learned. Kevin's journey had taken a terrifying turn. Originally intended to be shipped to North Korea, his fate seemed sealed. How did he get out of that box? That, that completely sealed box? He should have died and drowned in that box, by the way. I'm just saying. Who are you? My name's Trey. Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. To be totally honest, I have no clue where we are. One day, my parents sent me off because I wasn't good at math. And oh, well, here I am. Really? Oh my god, just like me! I guess all Asian parents do that! He's on this island with Chung, right? And, uh, I guess they have to survive for a little while. They become closer knit and, and bond as men surviving on this island together, life or death. Somehow their shirts end up coming off. I don't know what they got up to while that little segment cut out. But, I mean, you end up on a stranded island with Chung. What are you doing? I know what I'm doing. Eating them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm not talking cannibalism. You know, Chung? I never thought I'd get stuck on an island with someone who actually gets me. Yeah. It's crazy how things work out. We make a really good team. <laughs> who thought that being bad at math would lead to this, huh? It's a universe way of giving us a second chance. I guess we were made for something greater. You think we'll ever get off this island? I don't know. But as long as we're together, I think we'll be okay. Wait, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, clearly what I said was a joke with a bit of denial of some underlying thoughts, but I genuinely had no idea they were just gonna start making out in the middle of the scene. On top of that, these two lovebirds end up finding a joint just sitting in a tree on an island that apparently nobody is on, and they just start flying into the heavens, and he manages to get back home. I don't see... I, I don't know where to begin honestly the 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 mixture of situations the constant problems the solutions the bonding experience the character development right the relationship development in this story honestly it's it, i'm at a loss for words and it's not even like he transitions back to his house he just cuts straight there <laughs> He was never stuck on an island, all right? He did this of his own free will, so he and Chung could have gay sex, clearly. Anyway. Oh, hello, bed. This is amazing. Wow, this is good stuff. Oh my god, I cannot see it. I smoke too much. Oh my god, I cannot see it. I smoke too much. Oh my god, I cannot see it. Is that another? Is that another? Yeah, it is. Okay. 
cool. I too pick up random doobies off of a counter that I've never seen before and immediately start smoking them. But um, I've never gone blind doing it. I've never been physically unable to open my eyes because I smoke too much. So to all the Asian stoners, my heart goes out to you, honestly. I've also had never had whatever this shit is happen to me. So um, I don't know, you guys go through a lot apparently, but it seems like that's what she needed because this is what awakened her, made her forgive her son for being awful at math, which is honestly unforgivable. So I'm amazed by that, but it truly opened her heart to new paths and new values and a new career apparently because then she immediately becomes a rapper. Pull out with the strap. Pull out with my guy. Say not make you take a nap with my big black cap. I'm gonna kill you, nigga. I want your money. If the food don't buy, I don't want it. Pull up on your nigga. I'm gonna blow you away. Pull up, pull up on nigga. You're gonna get blown away. What's up, guys? It's Oliver from Tomorrow's Teachings. We hope you guys- Holy shit, that's the guy from that other video that I did. Yo, what's up, my niggas? Classic. Honestly, he's my favorite actor right now. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for learning this lesson with me. Tomorrow's Teaching, I would also like to thank you. You have shown me a lot. Honestly, I didn't know what I was missing until I saw this atrocious video today. But I now know that ignorance is bliss. Very bliss. Um, I've lost a piece of me today watching this video, and I think I really needed to lose that part of me to open my eyes, truly. That being said, I'm gonna go blame some Asian family for COVID-19. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and you guys have a good day. Later. Follow my friend Maya at Serial Swag Haver on Twitter. She's soaking in fucking sloppy. She's soaking fucking wet surrounded by hammers. She's making adhesives for dinner again. She's got 10 billion pounds of gorilla pussy made of jelly, and it's about to wiggle and jiggle and fly to the moon. She's got a 5.9 inch penis and a murder fetish. She'll put you through a pasta roller, then roll you up, smoke you. She's the Nikola Tesla of brain damage. Everyone steals her revolts and dyke swag because she's so full of dogs. She's the motherfucking goddamn goop looper. And she'll do your makeup with the pavement. Damn.